And welcome to the Lake TV Community Spotlight Show. We've got somebody special with us today. They're all special, but we've got Mr. Mayor from Osage Beach, John Oliveri, with us today. Welcome. Thank you for making the trip over. Well, Chris, thanks for having me. You betcha. Even though it's Martin Luther King Day, I, you know, <laughs> I wouldn't have come for anybody other than you. Well, there, because we're special. Because you are special. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> As you are. So how long have you been mayor of uh, Osage Beach? I've been mayor uh, now a little over uh, five years, or right at five years. It'll be five years in April. I have one more year on my term, which will take me up to six years as mayor. I was an alderman for nine years prior to that. What makes you want to be a mayor? Well, uh, the same thing, I guess, it enticed me to get into public service to begin with. I just wanted to give back, you know, the, to the community. And I was lucky enough to get the ear of uh, the previous mayor, Mayor Lyons, and ask her if I could, you know, be part of this, you know, operations of the city, by participating in committees and boards and that type of thing, which I did. Mm -hmm. And then uh, my interest in, uh, you know, moved to doing a little bit more. So I stepped up to the uh, alderman position. And then it was just one of those times when if I was ever going to be mayor, I needed to step up before I started aging out, which is kind of where <laughs> I am right now. <laughs> do you have any second thoughts like, wow, do I really <clears throat> want to jump in and do that or? You know, one thing that I thought was really interesting, I thought that making the transition from uh, alderman to mayor would be a lot easier, not realizing everything that goes on uh, in the mayor's chair mm -hmm. as opposed to that of the alderman. Uh, but I've never looked back. I've, I've always looked ahead and I've really enjoyed, you know, my opportunity to serve my community. It's been a great thing. It's been so much to learn, yeah. uh, but I, I would not uh, have given up any of the time, you know, that I've had serving the community. So you talk about alderman, mayor, big differences. Right. Uh, what are the things as a mayor that you have to do or you're responsible for or that takes your time uh, that you don't as an alderman? Well, there's a lot of different things. Okay, a lot of it has to do with just interacting more with staff. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I'm, I, uh, at, I'm at City Hall almost, well, I'm in, I am there every day. And I've spent uh, just to keep up with all the emails and everything else. And of course, this last year has just been, you know, mm -hmm. interesting within itself and all of the policy changes and things that had to be implemented to be able to handle that. But that's not really my job. That's really the job of the city administrator. So I'm there, you know, I act as a sounding board, you know, for her and any other staff, you know, as, as we work through the different things associated with the city. It's also my job uh, to interact with folks that are interested in coming to our city you know, bringing, bringing their businesses, growing uh, the industry in the area. And uh, of course, a lot of that happens, you know, before uh, it even gets to the board level, all right? Uh, a lot of it's, uh, you know, proprietary and has to be kept quiet. So we do a lot of negotiation and, and, and working that way, you know, to, uh, to provide the services that, you know, that are needed for these businesses coming in. I am exceptionally pleased with, with the city staff of Osage Beach, they do great. And uh, many times as we've worked through some of our larger, you know, uh, accomplishments, our, our TIFs and whatever, Deerbergs and, and now the Stanberg Group who's bringing in uh, 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 Hobby Lobby. Mm -hmm. uh, when they get through working with us, they compliment staff for the quality of, of, uh, of service that, they, that they're able to give and the work that they're able to accomplish with them. So. Uh, yeah, real kudos to my staff. Yeah, I tell you, that makes all the difference in the Absolutely. world, doesn't it? Absolutely. So how long have you been living in the Lake Area? Because you you weren't born here, right? No. Yeah. Actually, uh, I'm, I was born in San Antonio, Texas. Yeah. Uh, went to, uh, uh, got out of school there, went to work for the telephone company. Uh, most of my career uh, early on was, was in Texas. I made six major house moves, you know, down there, and then finally uh, moved to headquarters in St. Louis. Uh, and stayed with the company uh, a little over 25 years. They made an offer for me to take an early retirement, and my wife and I both worked for the telephone company at the time, and we thought, what a great thing. Our kids were all out of school uh, and in the college, so uh, we had bought just two years prior to the offer uh, a condo down at the lake, and we thought, what a great place to, to live. And so we made that transition and would not move back. We've been down here now uh, about 31 years. Wow, it is. Not counting the two years that we had to condo. So, yeah. <laughs> and you've seen a lot of growth in that. Seen a lot of changes. Wow. A lot of changes. And you know what, from my perspective, it's all been for the better. 
Because one of the things that, one of, that we see now is the opportunity where we have, you know, businesses looking for employees. So employees have a, a choice. And with that choice also comes, you know, the opportunity for having benefits offered, you know, better salaries and so on and so forth from what I first saw when I first came down here. So uh, I think those have all been good things. Plus, people don't have to leave the lake to uh, go take advantage to do their shopping or whatever. We've got just about everything they need right here. We may not have a Dillard's or a Macy's or, or whatever, but we've got a lot of things where people don't have to shop before they come here. They take the opportunity to shop once they get here. There seems to be more business, more big business uh, in Osage Beach in that area than in other areas of the lake. Is there a reason for that? Well, I think a lot of it had to do with, uh, you know, my predecessors. The fact that uh, initially, uh, you know, we had uh, uh, sewer, we made sewer available, uh, you know, into the community. And then when the demand was there for, for water, which a lot of these, uh, you know, larger stores like uh, uh, Deerberg's or Lowe's or, or Home Depot, they have to have the overhead sprinkler systems. You can't do that with the well and the, and the, and the, and the uh, power, you know, for, for that. So, you know, you've got to have, you know, a, a full-blown water system. And so our, my predecessors were smart enough to see this. They were able to, you know, get that going, you know, get the funding, get the, uh, you know, the infrastructure in the ground. And I think that's made a big difference. And, of course, we had the outlet mall. You know, that was a big draw. Mm -hmm. uh, but then we also had uh, developers like Gary Pruitt, uh, you know, with Pruitt's Point. Uh, from my perspective, that was the second biggest uh, economic development, you know, boom for, for our city. And, of course, then he, he went on with, uh, with the uh, second poor development over in, in Lake Ozark. And, you know, Gary's done a, a tremendous amount for the lake. So I'm, I'm really pleased that I have the opportunity to work with him in Osage Beach. Absolutely. We're pleased to be talking with Mr. Mayor from Osage Beach, John Oliver -E. We'll have more with the mayor right after this. Your car wants to look its best. The paint, the trim, the wheels, the tires, they want to show off in all of their sparkling glory. Let your car shine with the Quick Car Monthly Unlimited Wash Club. For one low price, you can let your car strut its stuff anytime you want. Your car will thank you. Welcome to the club. Quick Car, quick, easy, and professional every time. In Jefferson City and Osage Beach, your time on the water is limited and High V and Osage Beach knows it. Let us do the shopping so you can maximize your lake time. With our Isles Online app, you can have your groceries delivered or ready for contactless pickup when you arrive to the lake. With all your grilling favorites, snacks, fresh produce, and home to the lake's largest wine, spirits, and beer department, your weekend at the lake starts with High V and Osage Beach, where you'll find a helpful smile in every aisle. Welcome back to the Lake TV Community Spotlight Show. We are talking with Osage Beach Mayor John Oliver -E. Uh Thank you, Mr. Mayor, for being here. You bet. All right. So uh, 31 years you've been here. Uh, do you have a whole lot of family that lives in the area, or do they live far away and they just love coming here? Well, actually, we're kind of at the point where we actually have no family that live here. Uh, my wife is from St. Louis, and uh, when I moved to uh, St. Louis uh, with the telephone company, who is who I worked for there, uh, you know, our family basically stayed there and, and they continued to grow. But since that time, uh, my son uh, just moved to Florida with his family. And uh, so we've got grandkids who are married. We've got great grandkids now. We've got two great grandkids, <laughs> one, one on the way. So and none of them live here. So most of them are close. The only one that's not is the one that lives in, in, in Florida. The others all live up in the St. Louis area. Right. And I one lives in Oklahoma City. I bet they love coming to the lake, though, don't they? Actually, you know, they've kind of reached that point in their lives where they really don't come down anymore. Oh. They have so much of their own activities and whatever going on. And so, yeah, it's, it's kind of a shame. And when we got rid of our boat, that probably did away with one of those things it was a, a motivator for them to come and spend some time with us but we go up and spend time with them and they come down for christmas so we we enjoy the lake uh, and they do while they're here absolutely and now you mentioned earlier that uh you're mayor now but you were an alderman you've done a lot of community service stuff uh over the years uh, you must like that what do you enjoy about all the community service stuff well 
the company that I worked for, uh, AT&T, which then became Southwestern Bell, which then went back to AT&T, one of the things that they instilled in us was, you know, giving back to your community. And that's one of the things that, that I've always enjoyed doing, whether it was working with my kids, uh, you know, uh, sports teams, or volunteering and, and helping uh, young people uh, people uh, interested in business through uh, junior achievement or whatever. It's always been, you know, giving back for all the great things that have been given to me. We've had opportunities uh, through my generation that, that have just been, you know, outstanding. I, I consider us to be a chosen generation. And so, you know, we need to be giving back as well as those younger people today, you know, need to learn that that's part of their responsibility also. Mm. I know part of their problems are is that they don't seem to have the time, but you know they've got their families, they've got to earn a living, but we did the same thing and somehow figured out how to do it. Mm -hmm. So I hope somewhere along the way some more of those folks can learn to do some of that also. It's important, yeah. absolutely. What do you like <clears throat> about being mayor? What do you not like about being mayor? Oh, I don't think that there's anything I really dislike about, you know, being mayor. Uh, the only thing I dislike truly is is running an election. Uh, they're never any fun, but right. they're not quite the challenges that they were before. Some of the earlier elections, uh, you know, were a little bit different, and a little more challenging. Uh, not that these aren't, uh, but it just takes away from what I need to be doing, you know, as far as the time necessary to give to the job. And so uh, uh, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't change anything you know, as far as being mayor. Yeah. Uh, who's made the biggest mark in your life? Who's your hero? My biggest hero. That's quite interesting. You know, I'll be real honest with you. Uh, you know, I did run against my, my predecessor, uh, Mayor Penny Lyons. Uh, I will have to say this, that uh, Penny uh, was uh, someone who taught me a lot about, you know, being an alderman and, and, and working through the community and, and those types of things. And while I did run against her, uh, uh, it was just kind of one of those things. Uh, but I have to say that from a political standpoint, uh, she taught me more than, than anyone else. And I really do appreciate, you know, her, her doing that for me. Do, you, do people recognize you? You walk down the street, do they know you're mayor? I mean, no. uh, are you a celebrity and stuff yeah. like that? Oh yeah, that and $5 won't get you a cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, but you know, only my friends, and they visit, they tease me a little bit every once in a while, but no, you know, that's not a job that, you know, gets a lot of recognition and, and it's fine. I mean, when people uh, need to get to me, they know how to do that. If they have issues that, that they need to discuss, they, they, they know how to reach me. And so, uh, yeah, it's, it's, not a, it's not a celebrity type thing. No. Yeah. What is your favorite part about living in the lake area? I tell you what, I just can't imagine living anywhere else. I mean, there are just so many wonderful things. I mean, we're fortunate enough to have, have lived on the water. So we look out every morning and, and see the sunrise, uh, not sunrise because we don't get up quite that often, you know, every morning, <laughs> but the beautiful sunsets and, and just looking out at the water and, and even watching the boats, you know, that, that go by. And, you know, we've got a great hospital here. We've got so many great services. I mean, there's just, there's, there's nothing that I need that I need to go anywhere else for. Uh, than you know what we now have and what we've developed over the years. We're bringing a few more things in, and and that just is to add additional uh, amenities to the lake. But this is a great place to live, and uh, I, I can't imagine living anywhere else. Okay, final 15 seconds here. Are there any rivalries between the cities, Osage Beach, Camden, <clears throat> Eldon, Versailles, whatever? You know, uh, I would say that in years past, there has been some of that. Yeah. It's who, who can get what business. But I think we all realize now that we all have to work together if we're all going to continue to grow. And I will do whatever it takes to help, uh, you know, the mayors in any of the other cities, you know, accomplish anything that they need if I can be a part of it. Okay. So now we know so much more about uh, the mayor of Osage Beach, John Oliver Reed. John, thanks for coming by. We appreciate it. Chris, I appreciate it very much. Good to have you here. You and thank you for joining us. You can watch the Lake TV Community Spotlight Show weekdays at 8, 3, and 8 right here on Lake TV.